Welcome to SDH's coverage of everything going on in USL League One. Very, very busy week, even action in the midweek that we can look at and go backwards before we go forwards. We'll take a peek at the results, the standings, all the news that you need to know going to USLLeagueONE.com so you can get all the news that you need when it comes to USL League One. Very, very busy week with the five matches. Richmond's turn to play two in a week. We'll start you off about a week ago. Richmond kickers at home, big win. Shutout win, 3-0 over Chattanooga Red Bulls at City Stadium. Richmond was a plus 165 in that one. Then four teams played on uh, four matches on the weekend, eight teams playing. Once again, City Stadium, very, very quick turn, only two days rest. Basically a day of regen, day of planning. Tormenta comes to town. And that is going to be our game of the week. Richmond Kickers and South Georgia Tormenta. Four-goal thriller at City Stadium. Quick turn for the kickers. How would they fare? Here's your highlights, courtesy of our friends, USL League One, ESPN Plus, and YouTube. And in the white kits with the trim, that's going to be Tormenta going from right to left. We're underway. Ball is outside. Fitzgerald. There's a right foot of his own. At the stripe, headed back. And here comes the attack. And that is in the back of the net. Barry Sharifi makes it 1 0. Tormenta in the 22nd minute. Made it happen. Starts with Ajay centering. And then that finds the back of the net, and it's all because Sterling really can't handle it. Ball over the top. Bolaños. Open net. That'll do it. Back of the net. Tormenta wanted a flag to go up. The equalizer is there. How about this? Over the top. And the left fullback is going to get the goal. Coming out of no place. You got to like that. He will take a number of steps before he throws it into the box. Chested right back at him. Served in. Headed on. Back of the net. Number 15. Trizzler. 2-1, Richmond. Match with their front line, but it is the fullbacks that are making things happen, and this was the center fullback. Honey doing a good job on that back line. Both goals for Richmond coming from their defense, and that is the equalizer. Back of the net, Bill Hart makes it 2-2. In the 64th. Very aggressive, very compact, very, very disciplined. Take advantage of a ball in the box. One Richmond kicker, now two kickers inside the six. Nobody can really turn on it. Player down inside the box. Terzaghi puts his head on it. It was Gordon who was down. Terzaghi came rushing on it, put his head on it. To steal a win on the road, and he sacrifices his body trying to keep it in play. That'll do it. 2-2 is the final here in Richmond. What an unbelievable match, and that, that tells you everything you need to know. So honors even after 90 minutes for Richmond and Tormenta at a plus 235. The three other matches, Greenville Triumph knocking off Charlotte Independence 2-0 at Legacy early. Chattanooga Red Wolves losing at CHI Memorial to Union Omaha, who came in as a plus 177 road dog. Ford Madison gets a 2-1 win over FC Tucson with a Ford Madison coming in at a minus 108. So that lends, leans us into the standings right now. Greenville now at the top of the table after winning three of four. They are now at 14 points with a goal difference of plus one. Same record for the Charlotte Independents, but they are at zero in goal difference. So they're at 14 points. They have lost two of their last three. North Carolina FC coming out of uh, lane eight with their recent form, winning three of four. They're at 13 points in third. Central Valley Fuego kind of cooling off a little bit after their hot start. They've drawn three of four. They are at a uh, 
goal difference of plus four. They have only won three matches of their eight, and that is why they're in fourth. Richmond kickers across the board at three, three, and three. They are in fifth. The South Georgia Tormenta are the same, and they have five less goals scored. Goal difference of plus five to minus one. Goals scored 14 to nine. That's why Tormenta's in the sixth spot. Chattanooga Red Wolves, they've lost three in a row, and they are now in seventh in the table. And Union Omaha still uh, focused on uh, U.S. Open Cup up until their recent loss. Uh, They are only seven matches played, so they have matches in hand on everyone above them, anywhere from uh, uh, two or one, two, or three matches, if you include the the difference between them and Chattanooga, who's just above them in the standings. Record of two, four, and one, getting through Open Cup, and they're unbeaten in their last three. They are in eighth. Ford Madison right now, nine matches played. They are at a goal difference of minus two. They are in ninth. Northern Colorado Hailstorm after their run of Open Cup. They're now starting to catch up. They got a match in the midweek we'll talk about in just a little bit. Two, two, and two after six matches, eight points in FC Tucson, two, one, and five. They've lost four of their last five. They are in 11th as of right now. Next match is on the board. We'll start with the one in the midweek. Northern Colorado at home taking on North Carolina FC. Northern Colorado is a home favorite at a plus 135. Draws a plus 269. Northern Colorado, uh, North Carolina is a plus 152. Looking at the other games in the schedule for this upcoming week, we'll get through the uh, team of the week for week 10 coming up in just a little bit. On Saturday, it is five matches, so 10 teams of the 11 are in play. City Stadium gets a third home game in a row for Richmond Kickers as they take on Charlotte. 8 o'clock at Bree Stevens, forward Madison hosting Greenville Triumph. 9 o'clock at Jackson Stadium, Northern Colorado Hailstorm hosting South Georgia Tormenta. 10 o'clock at Keno North, FC Tucson Union Omaha. And it's a trip west for Chattanooga Red Wolves as they go to Fresno State to take on Central Valley Fuego. That one is at 10.30. So it's late night Saturday for Central Valley Fuego hosting the Chattanooga Red Wolves. Elsewhere on the board, Week 10 Team of the Week in League One, Nazim Bartman from Forward Madison is your player of the week. He scored his third goal of the season, added his first assist in Madison's 2-1 victory over FC Tucson. So that was a big win for uh, Forward Madison. Full points there, over 2,500 in attendance at Bree Stevens for the first home victory of the season. So Nazim Bartman forward for Ford Madison is your player of the week. Paul, the wall, Paul Christensen in, 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 in net for team of the week uh, for Greenville triumph, Nathan, Ani, Jalen Chrysler, Stuart Ritchie, three of the back four, all from Richmond. Joshua Phelps is your fourth at the back for South Georgia tormented Joe Brito from union Omaha joins Ethan Bryant from Richmond, Michael Maldonado from Ford Madison. And Don Smart from Greenville in the midfield. Bartman is joined by Keziah Sterling for South Georgia Tormenta. That is your team of the week for week 10 in the USL championship. Other news that you need to know, uh, the USL to Wilmington announced their intention is to bring professional soccer back to Wilmington, North Carolina. We remember the Wilmington Hammerheads. Uh, we'll see if uh, maybe the Hammerheads make a comeback. A group has been granted exclusive rights by the USL to pursue a League One expansion franchise. It is USL to Wilmington, and they would start competing in 2024. Granted exclusive rights in the Cape Fear region. Primary investor Scott Sullivan, co-founder of investment management company Cameron Management, Chris Mumford, professor of practice at UNC Chapel Hill and Dewan Bader, former Hammerheads FC midfielder, North Carolina FC coach. They are the ones who are in front of this project. By 2024, according to the USL, the club would become the sixth uh, men's professional soccer club in the state, joining Charlotte and North Carolina FC in League One. A lot of us remember uh, the work from, by the Hammerheads from 96 to 2017, claiming the second division title in the usl in 2003 so great news out of wilmington north carolina there as we move forward with the growth of usl league one chattanooga's carlos avalas won save of the month for may central valley's villian bijia won goal of the month for may and remember you can vote for fans choice for goal of the week at the usl league one website usl league one.com and you can vote until thursday at noon for goal of the week, it is Leonardo Baima, 
from Richmond Kickers, Nazim Bartman from Forward Madison, Joe Brito from Union Omaha. Those are your three choices. Click on the banner and settle them up for this week for goal of the week for week number 10. You can sign up for the USL League One newsletter, uslleagueone.com. Keep you up to date with all the news and notes that you need to know. Follow along on all the social media platforms as well, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for USL League One. So that is a quick look at everything going on in USL League One. Great news out of Wilmington, North Carolina. And the league, as always, continues to have a lot of folks hopscotching one another as we are 10 matches in to a fantastic season so far in 2022. So for everyone here at SDH, I'm just John. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you can catch a USL League One match in market, please do so. Quality quality talent on display in usl league one if you're in market and you can't be there follow along on your local providers if you're out of market and you still want to follow along go to espn plus and follow along there with all the matches from the usl championship and usl league one broadcast on the platform for everybody here at sdh i'm just john played safe everybody enjoy the games in usl league one there can be only one 